very boring minutes later. Okay, where's he at? Look who I found. <laughs> it's like a bad penny. I know, right? <laughs> Let's go see the bees. Okay, so we made it back. We're here at Gunner's Hives. I think he had three going in. Is that right? Three going three in. Three going in. Two came and out. Two coming out. So we're going to take a look and see what they look like and figure out what we want to do with them. So let's take a look. Which one are we starting with? Start with this one, the end one? We can start with this one. Is this the one? Okay. This is the full one. This is the one that I couldn't. There you go. See? You guys, uh, that's the uh, screened inner cover right there. Look at that. We can see where the cluster of bees are at. Bees aren't coming up in our face. We can see they're working over here. We can see there's a big cluster over here, likely a brood's nest over here, over two or three frames. This is a medium and a deep that went into the winter. So likely they're laying brood up in this top. Hopefully they have some brood in the bottom and maybe empty in the bottom. We'll find out pretty quickly though. So let's take a look. No hangers. What's that? She already got me. Yeah. She's like, get out of here. I mean, that's a heavy frame of honey, which is awesome. That gives them some good resources. And I see bees down the bottom as well, which tells me that they are actually Probably pretty the thick in the bottom yeah. too, which is great. I don't smoke as much, but when I get into spring like this, they were just in that antsy phase. So I'm just gonna try to see if we got a brood nest over here. I don't I see honey there. They were, all, they were all full of honey going in. Yeah, this whole top was full of honey, wasn't it? Yep. Stuck that's, your that's one of the ones that was stuck. Yeah, so you got some, you have some drone comb between that they built, which is great. Oh, I see. So they're just, they're just that's why it's pulled together. So you got to break it apart straight up. Okay, so you got right here, you got brood. Yep. All right here. There's a small hot beetle in there, but expect that. small high beetles which is fine you got a strong enough colony to take care of them. look at the solid coverage of that brood looks like a swarm cell there what do you got no there's drone cutters drone well that's where oh gonna, it was stuck to the bottom that's we're definitely gonna look for that though because yeah. they're ready Lot of bees. It's a mess of bees. You've got to be careful. We'll put your screen under cover flat down so that we can uh, lay this on top one side. They were all pretty well stuck. Oh, there we go. Look at that brood. Oh, yeah, there's brood oh, on yeah. every one of these. So we're going to uh, determine once we get this super off what's on the bottom and make a decision and probably make a split, which means we got to find the queen. Unless you want to put a honey super on top of us and let them keep going, that's your call. Something tells me she's on the bottom. Probably is. At this point, she probably laid up her brood because it's all cap brood up top. Yeah. So she came up in there and they were eating the honey up top and then she laid and the then she down stayed down yeah, in the cluster there. and then she started to lay the brood and it kept expanding down I don't remember if we marked her or not I can't remember if this one was marked look at all those eggs in there yeah so she was up here at least in the last two days don't 
peeking out. <laughs> what are you doing? It's too early for this. A little smoke on that one. on this one, that's good. But they're filling all the new nectar. Yeah. It's all new nectar. They're getting something some good. Way, yeah, they're getting something. So, well, the, do you have a queen excluder? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. Set that up the side. We're gonna put that on there. That's fine. You can on top of that. Right. See, this is all your, your all drone, drone comb. Yeah. You're, you're standing in front of the camera. Cool thing to do with this. I always look down in the drone comb and just pick them around and look for any mites on them. Yeah. I don't see any mites on them, so that's a good sign. But give a longer. Yeah. Uh, hive tool. Yeah. We're gonna scrape this off. Look to see if we can see what's below. Um, probably make a split. Is that one full as well, or was that partially full? Uh, it had a pretty good amount in it. I'm gonna push without trying to squish as many bees as you can. Just. Keep it from sticking together. Hopefully. <laughs> I tried to get that sucker up. I couldn't get it up. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got down the bottom down here now. This one probably needs to be. You have any frames that are heavy waxed, or no? Uh, yeah, actually, this is probably it's fine. We can leave it the way it is though for now. Just want to see how they do on these other ones. I got some in here. Actually, I got some old. Dude, this whole frame is laid up. Here's cone. We gotta. We yeah. got, okay, we got a cell right up here. Not a swarm cell. Nothing in it. it's empty. A cell cup, queen cup. This is all eggs and, and larva. This is all eggs. It's going gangbusters. They come up with the finder. I'd like to make a split on it. Yep, hey, big old patch of brood. Look at that. Holy shit. Amazing patch of brood. I'm looking for swarm cells. And a queen. They got cups like they want to swarm, but none of the cups are rolls. charged. Yeah. You just got them. Do me a favor, set that nuke box that you want to split it into over here. On the end down here. Yep. It's full of 
Look, look how they're going. Look right here, doing right here. Yep. See, they're in a bowl around this. Yep. I bet you she's in here. She's in there. You think? I'm thinking. Which there's no cup there. Nothing in it. Dude, you just got these ladies. Just in time. Starting to sweat it. Mm -hmm. Open that box up and empty it out if you don't mind. We're gonna do a walk-away split. It's really not a walk-away split. There's some different terms for it. Essentially, it's not putting a mated queen directly in. You're gonna try to find your existing queen and put her in the box so she continues to lay, realizing that a lot of your forgers will go back to your original hive, um, but the nurse bees will stay. And the queen, by being in the split, she will continue to lay uh, in that split and keep the population going. And it'll be Gunner's job to go back and monitor them. And as they get to the point to where that, that five frame split is boiling over, we can do another setup um, and expand them as well. But in the meantime, it kind of stalls these ladies or this hive colony from, uh, from swarm, correct. Actually, that beautiful frames of root. That five frame is going to be transferred into the horizontal hive. Oh, there you go. So we can put them in there and we'll move them to the horizontal hive. We're going to do that today, too. There she is right there. Here's your queen. See her? Right here? Oh, okay. I'm going to bring her up to the camera so everybody can see. Nice dark queen. And she goes in the nuke. She's going in the nuke. She's right there. Everyone see her right there, walking around? Where'd she go? She's, her abdomen's much larger than the other ones. She's scurrying around trying to hide in the middle. I just pointed to her. She's somewhere in this vicinity. Yeah, Let's go in and put her in the here so we know where she's at. This is closed off in here? Uh, not yet. Okay. We'll put her in the middle. We know she's in here now. All right. Now this five that you have here, where all the foragers are going to go back, is queenless. But they've got eggs, larva, everything you need. And we're going to put a queen, a queen excluder. We're going to put some empty frames. We'll put some of the brood in the middle. Put some empty frames around it to slow that swarm spawn response down. Put a queen excluder. And since she's not up here laying, we're going to put they this up here. And as they hatch exactly. out, they'll come. Exactly. And then they'll flip it and put honey up in here and put uh, more bees down in here once you have that point in time. Now, population on this one will dwindle over the next 30 days. But because it's queenless, and you have eggs and you have this much bee volume, it will, uh... I'm just moving over like three frames of brood. All right, some resource frames. Good resource frame there, it's heavy, you can feel it. <laughs> Lots of bees. Packed. All right, so now I've got Sort of brood in the middle. Let's leave this resource frame on the outside, but I'm going to move this resource closer. Move the brood here, here, and since the bees, you're going to need a lot of bees. To do what you need to do. We're going to come back. We're pushing this together. Try to find another resource frame, which probably is this this one out, which is probably the outside. This one is that one, and then let's do this one. Oh yeah. Man, they've got a bunch of nectar in that one. So now we're going to take your other frames. They'll clean this up, give another frame that's a little bit better than this outside one. Do you want that one? Yep, the one you're in. See that one? Take this one. Yep. We gotta put it in. 
No, I'm gonna just leave it just four frames. Three, four in there. All right. Yep. They'll fill this up with honey and eventually a queen, which will go out and get mated. Come back. And now the last thing that I always do, so I've got, let's recap. We pulled out the queen, three frames of brood, cat brood, larvae in all stages, a frame of resources, and we put that into a box that we're gonna to take to the horizontal hive. We've got this colony, it's, it's packed full of bees on both sides. Um, lots of brood up top still, lots of honey up top still. We have, we removed three frames of brood and a frame or so of honey out of here and left a lot of the bees. And the foragers that are out now will come back to here so there'll be a good volume of population to be able to build out those queen cells and replace the, the, uh, the queen that was in here. Uh, we're gonna take that queen and put it in another place. That'll be a split, so basically three bees. We got two hives out of one. Um, let's go ahead and put this back together. Let me get these girls up here. Go ahead. So you want to set the bars down. I, that's just my preference. On this queen screw, the metal bound queen screw, I always put yep. bars down. Someone will probably own the comments below say they do it differently <laughs> and it's just the life of everybody's got a different opinion in beekeeper world um so you put that on got some weight to it which is good because it has brood and honey in it that other hat, the other uh, frame back in. Hang on. We'll have to respace them. Just slide it in there. Square your boxes up, gaps, all right, screen green inner cover, entrance up or down, just do a quick tap on it, get them off the top. And when you set it on, hang on, when you set it on, set it in an angle, and then spin it like that, because that way you want to squish bees. Yep. Cool, lid it up, she's good to go. All right. Let's take this queen to the horizontal hive and get her installed there and we'll wrap the video up. Okay, so we took care of Gunner's hives. They look great. He's got two solid hives coming out of winter. We uh, made a split, so now he's got three. One's queenless, two queen right, and uh, he's going to check on them here in, in a few days, see 